So I want to show you something very, very nice. These are washcloths. They're made with 100% cotton. And my grand, great aunt used to make these. And she used to make them for the kitchen, like pot holders put two together or uh, washcloths. So I found them recently and it reminded me how she used to make them. This is done with the sugar and cream with the, the 14 stitch pattern and this is this one here is also made with the sugar and cream with the 14 the, with the 18 stitch pattern and this one here is also with the 18 stitch pattern but it's with the uh, Hobby Lobby I love this cotton yarn so let's go and tell you how this is done. So with the 14 stitches you have 14 triangles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so that is one pattern and I used a number 9 knitting needles the sugar and cream yarn with this it is also the sugar and cream. I used number nine double pointed needles because they're short, they're easy to, to handle. These are 18 stitches and I am doing only 13 triangles because they are going to be able to close very nicely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we're going to close them. So I left it there so I can show you how. And with this one, I am doing also the 18 stitch pattern. And uh, I left it halfway, you know, to make it the last one so I can show you how to. And so, and then we, we will sew it. So the way I cast it on for all of these is that I took my needle and I cast it on my stitches with my left hand so if you have a, a let's do less so I put my needle on my right hand with my slip knot there and I twist I put my thumb there and twist my yarn and put it over like that so pick up twist and cast on, 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 twist and cast on. Once you have all your eight, 14 or 18 stitches, whatever you want to do, then you're going to knit the first row so like that you have a very nice base. So that this is what we're going to do. So I'm using number eight needles here. Now row number one, I knitted my 18 stitches very carefully because the first row is very flimsy. Don't pull at your stitches. And this will be row number two. On row number two, you're going to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, knit ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to leave the last two stitches without knitting. You're going to turn and you're going to knit all these stitches back, which is 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, 
row number four because row number three was when you knitted back to 17. So row number four, you're going to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and knit nine. Just a second, this got entangled here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have four stitches left. I am going to turn and now I am going to knit row number five will be knit this 16 stitches back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There we go. Now on row number six we are going to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over. And now we're going to knit eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to have six stitches left on the left needle. We're going to turn and we're going to knit these stitches back, which is 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. Now, on row number eight, we're going to knit six, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, and now we're going to knit two, so six, yarn over, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And we're going to leave two, four, six, eight left on the left needle. We're going to turn and we will knit these back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, on row number ten, what we're going to do is that we're going to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left ten without knitting. Knitting two, four, six, eight, ten on your left needle. Turn and row number eleven. Knit these thirteen stitches back. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. Now, on row number ten, twelve, we're going to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, knit five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to have twelve on the left needle. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We're going to leave them there, turn, and knit these uh, 12 stitches back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there we go. Now what we want to do is do that triangle thing here. In order to do that we need to cast off or bind off six stitches. That's one and two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to knit all the way to the other side which is going to be the 18 stitches. So here we are, we knit all the way to the other side so we can have our original 18 stitches back. So here we are, and of course we need to knit back so we can start our new triangle or bind off. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. These 18 would be row number 1 and of course you start with your knit 6 yarn over and knit your 10 until you have the 2 left if you wanted to make another triangle. But now I have my thir 13 triangles and here we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and I'm ready to bind off and sew it or sew the way we're going to be doing in a minute. So what we're going to do is that on this one on this one here, we are going to bind off like normal, regular bind off, and that is one, two, three. So please bind off the whole row, and when I finish, I will come back. Now what we want to do is that once we finish our bind off, we want to pass the yarn around these bumps and we will sew from here to here to where the tail is and then we weave in the ends. Now what I like to do instead of doing that is that I want to leave the live stitches on the last row so instead of binding off on the last row, I want to have them live once I do my two last rows. I want to leave these two eight stitches already coming back to this side because I want to finish with my yarn on the inside. So what I want to do is that I want to sew I, I cut my, my yarn and I leave a long tail. I put my yarn in there 
and see where that the beginning yarn is I want to go exactly on that little bump because I want it to have a very very nice close so I want to pick up that little strand at the beginning and I want to put my needle like this so I want to pick up the beginning the, the, the long tail of the first stitch now I want to go on that next stitch pick up from one side to the other I want to pick up the second half of this stitch which is the back once I have the back I want to pick up the front of the next stitch so now I want to go and pick up that V on the other side see it that little V which is the very next stitch and now I come here pick up at the back of that stitch and the beginning of the next stitch so I go and pick up the V on the other side that little V there and then I come on this side pick up the back of that stitch and the beginning the, the, the beginning and this one was crooked the beginning of that stitch so I'm going to keep going and I will tell you what it looks more or less at the end so as I go I want to pull at my yarn because I really want that gap to close I don't want this to look too wide so I want to pull at my sewing yarn so it closes nice and tight so I have the beginning of the next one I go on that V there and pick up the back and the front of the next pick up the V and go in the back and the front of the next pick up that V and pick up the back and the front of the next pick up that V and so the back and the front of the next pick up that V and the back and the front of the next and let's pull at the yarn so it has a nice closure here so it doesn't see you it doesn't show your stitch doesn't show it this way so it's very nice so we have the V there and the back and the front of the next and I'll see you at the so end. So now I am at the end. I already sewed it. See it doesn't show and it doesn't show much on the other side either. So this is the way it looks and now once we sewed it we want to go on all of these little bumps on each one of the rows. So pick up all those little bumps around so that one and that one so the one that you find that is closest to the edge pick up that one so that one and that one it really doesn't it doesn't have to be that precise but you know it's nice that you have a nice finish so go around and around let's see where my starting point is here it is so that will be the last one and that will be the beginning so let's put my needle in there and tighten those stitches and see how pretty that looks it looks a very very nice finish 
here we are and now we're going to turn and make a small pick up just a little strand from somewhere make it nice and tight and make a simple knot and now we can weave in our ends so that we can weave in There we go. And since we have that color there, I'll take advantage and pass my yarn through there. And there we have it. Now we can cut it. Cut it even shorter. And then we can weave the other end. If you don't have enough yarn to weave it in. You can pass your needle in first and then you can pass your yarn through. There is something that I like to do with my with the tails is that you can find a little piece there and then use a little bit of fabric glue. This is the flexible stretchable fabric and it dries clear so and it's kind of plasticky. So put a little drop in there and kind of hide it. It doesn't need much so take the excess off and now you can cut the tails. Let's see where this is from. Let's pick up that little strand. Put a little bit of glue there. It doesn't need much. Just a little tiny bit. There we go. And now we can cut the tail. And there we have it. It doesn't look bad on the back side. It has only that little edge there. And this is the way it looks on the right side. This is very pretty. See how pretty that is. So very nice. You can put it as, you know, put hot plates on top. Or uh, this, I'm using it as a washcloth, so I'm giving it away. Something else that you can do with this is that you can start with a provisional cast on and leave the live stitches and then at the end you can do a three needle bind off or, or a kitchener, so whatever you wish. Thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. And thank you.